Oh, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. release and it says past life release the past release it sometimes you gotta fucking scream sometimes you gotta cry whatever you gotta do number 42 number 14 number six number five but it's saying release that shit just release it let it go it could be someone that Maybe something happened a while back. Not let it go like you don't know what happened. But like, I don't know how to say. Let's see what these cards got to say. We have the Eight of Wands energy here. Let me get something with this Eight of Wands. I'm getting the energy of like someone giving energy to it. Let me get something to, with this. Taking action on something that you probably don't need to take action on. We have the Knight of Pentacles here building something here what's being built someone is moving fast to build something oh lord we got the star you ain't got time for this the release in the past life you you got to release that because you got something way better you're building something here something's being built and it's being built quick knight of pentacles is the slowest moving night but with the eight of wands i feel like something is happening quick or at least somebody is putting all their energy they're focusing something it's time to focus your energy you can't focus on this no more it's some it's like whatever this star is it's literally going to you you won't even remember the shit you won't even think about the shit the shit won't even matter you're gonna be focused on other things or you could already be in that energy and it's maybe time to focus on those other things that's right in front of you let me get something here with this we have the Ace of Cups energy here. Let me get something. Wow. And this is about healing. This is giving me somebody that finally has released it. Because we already got the Ace of Cups out here. It's an open heart chakra. We have the Chariot here. It's like... <laughs> This is the energy of someone that can't be stopped. What is this here? Oh, we got two cards. We have the Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Hangman. So what is this Page of Pentacles and Hangman? Somebody that's realizing what they're building. Maybe they're looking at it from a different perspective. Hmm. They're definitely seeing the truth about something that they didn't see. Or they had to go through something in order to figure out how to lay some type of foundation or plant some type of seed. What is here with this? What is here? We have the Ten of Wands energy. It don't mean that this shit was easy. So it went from the Eight of Wands as the first card over here. And now we got the Ten of Wands. What's here with this Ten of Wands? And then we got the Three of Swords energy. Oh my goodness. Whatever that is, these last two cards, Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, it seems very destructive for these energies right here. This right here is constructive. Knight of Pentacles is constructing something. Okay? The star is either healing something or they're shining for others. Okay? As an example, the Ace of Cups and the Chariot is like someone being unstoppable because something has aligned if you're in the star energy you've definitely got beyond some type of past life shit okay and it's something oh my goodness what's this at the bottom and we have the ace of so i was just about to say it's something that you know or that you have understood where it's like it's okay to let it go now it's okay it's something where you gotta be different you're the star you're the star you're not your past life you're not what happened you know the 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 south node you're not going towards your south node for the people that you know 
if you only way you'll know your south node is if you know your birth chart or at least i think you just have well you wouldn't know what house it's in you have to know your your birth date where you was born and the time you was born and go online and search free birth chart and just choose one of them things okay but really it's something here where you're going towards your north node you're letting go of the south node stuff you're going towards your north node something is changing something is shifting that's where you're going and you have clarity about this okay and whatever this is from the past it's not doing it won't do nothing good for your energy i'm gonna just say it like that it won't do nothing good for your energy let me get something here with this what's here with this this eight of wands we have the two of wands energy here it's time to go another direction and figure out what that is or make a decision <clears throat> on where you're going to focus your willpower we have the hangman energy here didn't i just see the hangman with the page of pentacles i think i did so it's something new it's something maybe you didn't see it that way or you didn't see it clearly now you see it now something i feel like is aligned very much and i feel like somebody can finally build wow the ten of wands again and it's here with the star this star been through a lot of shit man a lot oh my god and then i see the 10 i mean the two of wands here the hangman and then the 10 of wands so i see the journey here and maybe this person who's ever building this resource they're building towards something they finally get it whoever this is they get it something has aligned they've left the past and it's okay to keep moving forward we have the page of cups energy here it could be that somebody has a child or somebody has another person to look after it could be you going more in your childlike energy or doing things you never did things that you wanted to do it could be i know it's new it's new love because it's the ace of cups and it's the page of cups could even be something Yeah, I do feel like it's something that you've always wanted to do. We have the Knight of Wands energy here. Okay, and that's someone that's very determined, someone that's going to go after it. What's here with this Ten of Wands energy? We have the Five of Pentacles. Why the Five of Pentacles? Let me get something here with this and then justice hmm five it's like i'm getting the energy of somebody getting fucked up like i don't know why i because i just see this i see the five of pentacles and the ten of wands above that I, I know that's like a shift in the energy but i just feel like the energy changed after this chariot it's like i feel like this is a part and then the this last two row over here this is some other shit this is somebody getting fucked up. Like, I don't know. I haven't gotten any indications of any relationships or anything like that. But it's somebody here. I don't know if it's the health. It's the money. It's like, you may know the truth about something here. I think that's a person. It could be a Libra, a Pisces, an Aquarius, a Cancer. Let me get something here with this. We have the four of wands underneath the two of wands. This whole row is fire. Eight of wands, two of wands, four of wands. So it's it's about you making it. You, how can I say, you can't be driving in your car and you're looking backwards. You can't do that. Not the whole damn time. You know what I'm saying? Let me get something here with this hangman. You got to release that shit so you can go forward. I truly feel like somebody going to get messed up over here. Okay, because I see the five of pentacles and then justice like somebody deserves to get messed up. It's like maybe you're not going to see that. Maybe you don't need to focus on that. Maybe you don't need to like. Because that's a different it's like it's different. I see the ten of wands here with the star and I see this ten of wands 
with the Five of Pentacles. This one, I believe, is about responsibility and working hard and carrying your energy and using your will and putting your all into it and giving it what you got, right? Because it's the star, it's the Ten of Wands. So there's a there's a mission there, right? But this Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles is showing me like that's an ass whooping. Five of Pentacles is somebody that you need help. You need some type of help. I don't know if it's financial help, medical help. But that Ten of Wands, that's the result of something. That is an ass whooping. So I feel like that is connected to whatever this past life is. I mean, it's right underneath the past life card. I'm just saying. But it's like, I guess you don't need to focus on that. I guess you don't need to focus on that. What's here with this? Damn, we have the Eight of Swords energy here. It's something here in the home. Four of Wands and then the Eight of Swords. Like somebody could have been held hostage or some shit. They could have been confused about some shit. They could have been lied to for a very long period of time because it's the hangman. It's, oh my God. Let me get something here with this. It's like either some type of isolation or imprisonment. Like, I don't know. It's like it's giving me like a household, a family, a community, something. <sighs> What's here with this Ten of Wands? We have the King of Cups energy here, a water sign perhaps. Okay. Or somebody with a really big heart. We have the Page of Wands energy here. That's freedom. That's going where you want to go. I see a water sign and a fire sign here. They're both under the Ace of Cups. What is here with this? What's here with this Knight of Wands energy? We have the Ace of Swords energy. So knowing the truth, finding out the truth about something that was held back from you or kept from you within a family or community or something where you thought you made it. You thought that was the end result. You thought, you know, the shit was solid, but it wasn't solid. It was something you were meant to find out in order to release that energy, that person, those people. What is here with this fire? Oh, we got the two of swords energy here. Let me get one more with this. That's so crazy. It's like, it looks like somebody got the information or somebody got that clarity. That's that same Ace of Swords that came out right here. And now we got the Two of Swords underneath that Five of Pentacles and Ten of Wands. Okay, let me get something with this. And then we have the Page of Pentacles energy here. Like... Is it building something regardless? Because I, I really feel like this is an energy of someone being blocked. The, the people or person from the past life. It's like someone's making a really tough decision here with this two of sword. What's at the bottom? Nine of sword. Somebody's making a really tough decision with this one. Because it's, I mean, everybody's different, but like, I feel like whatever happened to somebody was fucked up, but they still have a big heart. And because of that big heart, it's a hard decision to just let somebody go and just let them get fucked up. Chiron, let me get something here with this. It's like you can't pay attention to that. You can't look at that. You can't focus on that. You can't check in on that. You can't be the one that's stalking your past. You can't do that. You got to move forward. We have the queen of sword. It's like, don't worry about what they doing. Don't worry about what they doing. You got to more so worry about the facts, the truth. Let me get something here. We have judgment here. OK. And it's there with the eight of sword. It's literally time for someone to be let free. It's time for it's like it's not even. It says release past life, but it's like you're releasing your past from for your own good. Like for your own good.
There's something here about independence or divorce, perhaps. What's here with this? Someone got to make a hard-ass decision. Three of Pentacles here. So they're committing themselves to something else or some type of goal or another, let's say, another collaboration. Okay, another goal. They're committing themselves to something else. And they're going to be okay. But this is a hard, you got to swing that sword. You got to swing it. I don't know what else, that's what the fuck it's for. You either going to swing it or you going to fucking jab that shit. But you better use it. I'm sorry. We have the Ten of Pentacles. It's like if you only knew what you would get. If you only knew what was waiting on you. If you only knew that cutting that cord to your past life would open the doorway to your abundance. If you only knew that. Let me get something here with this. What's here with this Ace of Sword? We have the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, damn. The Ten of Pentacles, then the Nine of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. After making that hard-ass decision, Queen of Sword and Judgment, after making that decision, you got a lot of, like, swords. You got the Ace of Sword out here twice. Let me get something here with this. We got the Ace of Sword out here for the third time. Did y'all hear what I just said? I was just speaking on the Ace of Sword and it popped right out. So we got the Ace of Sword out here three times. That's very extremely significant. Chiron, Let me get something here with this. What is here with this? And then we got the Moon card. Wow. And there's something here that they're not meant to know. They're not meant to see. It's a mystery to them. It's They can imagine what they want to imagine. They can think what they want to think. That's what it's giving me. It doesn't matter. Like, release that shit all the way. It doesn't... Like, I'm trying to tell you as... <laughs> I, can, I don't even want to say that. I don't even want to say that. You just got to, like... The first thing someone has to do is release it. The second thing somebody has to do is focus on your new life. Focus on your new life. Focus on building that new life. Focus on your happiness. Focus on healing. Don't focus on the past. Don't even look for that person. Don't care. Don't give a fuck. What's at the bottom? King of Pentacles here. Could be talking about an earth sign. Also Pisces here. What is here with this energy? It's like, there's certain, I don't even want to pull certain cards because it's just like, I'm sitting here trying to tell somebody to let the past go. I don't want to talk about the past. I don't even want to talk about them. Let me get something here with this. What is the energy here? Person of fire. Let me get something here with this. So... An earth sign and a fire sign. What's here with this? It says spilled milk. It says regrets. Accidents happen. Don't sweat the small stuff. I'm telling you. It says leave it in the past. It says it. It says mistakes. <laughs> oh my goodness. We all have those. It says it's over. It says it cannot be changed. It says disappointed. It says clean up time let it go and it says minor problems that's what it says spilled milk fire sign spilled milk like it's not that serious you gotta let it go it's something in the past i'm not saying let it go and bring this person hand in hand with your ass because that's just not what i'm getting i see somebody getting fucked up okay i do what's here with this and it says mother load okay Please focus on your future. It says prosperity, jackpot, success, good fortune, having plenty, money maker. Look, it says flag, achievement. Look, oh my God. And it says blinders. This shit peaked out. It literally peaked out. It says blinders. Act like you don't see nothing. I don't see here. I don't know nothing. Okay. I don't know who, huh? Who they? I don't know them. I ain't never heard that name in my life. Okay, that's what you need to say. What's this here with this? And I'm sorry to say that. That may seem cold, but sometimes you got to make decisions like that. I mean, 
life is not just black and white out here. You like there's there's a lot of colors. Okay, speaking of a lot of colors, for real, it says new beginning. Okay, you will start a new job, a life, clean sweep over, hit the reset button. Okay, I know some people can't understand that, but everybody ain't the same. Everybody ain't got the same life. Everybody don't go through the same shit. And for some people, they know what the fuck I'm saying when you just got to cut that shit off. Okay, some people understand what I'm saying. What's this here with this? And it says love life. Okay, free from problems and money troubles. Enjoy the passion of love, love and be loved. That's exactly what that Ace of Cups and the Chariot, like, and the Star. You're going towards love. Somebody's getting fucked up. Somebody's getting fucked up. Let me get an angel message here. And you don't need to watch. You don't need to see it. If you see it, then you see it. But you don't need to be searching for it. You don't need to be looking for that. You need to focus on your life, your beautiful life. It says opportunity and change. What's this on the top? And then it says yes. Okay. Y'all need to focus on that. Opportunity and change. Beautiful life. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.